Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at The Dark Tower, based on Stephen King's series of novels, directed by Nikolai Arcel and starring Idris Elba, Matthew McConaughey, and Tom Taylor. Taylor plays Jake Chambers, who is a troubled boy that is constantly having these weird dreams about a dark tower and a gunslinger and a man in black and something about the end of the world. And everyone tries to assure him it's all in his head and he's just a little messed up because his dad died, which would be a dramatic experience for any small child. But then one day he stumbles into a gateway to a parallel universe and discovers it's all real. And he journeys with the gunslinger to stop the man in black from destroying the Dark Tower and unleashing hell upon all of the worlds. And then it gets weird. So I got to see an early screening of this movie. Not particularly early, mind you. It was just one day. But after watching the movie, I got home and I looked at some of the early reviews and it's been sitting at a pretty steady 18% on Rotten Tomatoes, which surprised me a little bit. Even some of the relatively positive reviews I saw were more damning with faint praise, really. And honestly, I don't think it's nearly bad enough to have earned an 18%. I don't think it's particularly good either. It's, it's okay, but it is a bit of a mess. Now, I want to make it perfectly clear where I'm coming from on this. I'm not very familiar with the books. I haven't really read them apart from a very small passage in one of them that a friend of mine showed me back in junior high, and I'm amazed that I actually remember this. My brain just grabs onto the most random shit and will not let it go. I don't know why. It just, it does this. And I didn't remember the passage exactly, but I remembered enough that I was able to Google it and find it online. So this is the passage that I remember. I believe it's from the second book in the series. And it goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Rico Balazar broke his word. I stood up for him, and he didn't stand up for me. So I tell you to stick it up your fucking ass. I tell him to stick it up his fucking ass. I tell anybody I want to stick it up his fucking ass. I tell President Reagan to stick it up his ass if he breaks his word to me. And fuck his fucking rectal palp or whatever it is. Stephen King wrote that. And of course, me and my friends being a bunch of, you know, 13, 14 year old boys, we all found this incredibly hilarious. This is the shit that I remember from my childhood. It's probably stuff like this that prevented me from getting into the really good universities. But anyway, I will tell you right now that this passage is not in the movie. The movie is PG-13, so you won't hear anybody telling it to stick it up their fucking ass. I'm sure this will disappoint all of you. Now, this movie does have some interesting characters and some pretty excellent performances to go along with them. Idris Elba as Roland Deschane, also known as the Gunslinger, was pretty badass. I liked him a lot in this. McConaughey as the Man in Black is just downright evil. This is the kind of person who would probably torture a puppy right in front of you while you watched, and then after he had decided he'd had enough, he would make you crawl into the bathtub and drop a toaster in. He's that kind of asshole. And I assume that is what they were going for, and if so, nailed it. And Tom Taylor, who plays Jake, wasn't bad either. The special effects are really good, and it has some pretty entertaining gunfights, of course. And with a running time of only 90 minutes, it wasn't really long enough for me to hate it. But the story is kind of a mess. And I read somewhere that they've been trying to get this movie made for 10 years. After 10 years, they really should have more to show for it than this. Although, to be fair, Stephen King movies have always been kinda hit and miss, so... This may be one of those things that just was never going to make a good movie, and maybe it never should have been made into a movie. Maybe it would have been better served as a TV series, or maybe just better off left the fuck alone. I don't know. Considering just how short the movie is, I think they probably could have taken more time to actually explain shit, because there is so much in this movie that is either not explained, or if it is explained, it is done half-acidly so. Half-acidly, is that a word? It is now. Half-acidly. Trademark. 
McConaughey's Man in Black seems to suffer from its magic, we don't have to explain it syndrome. He's a sorcerer who basically has godlike powers and seems to pull a new ability out of his ass in every scene he's in. How did he become a sorcerer and acquire these powers? Was he born with it? Did he have to earn it somehow? Don't know. Are there any limits to what he can do? Don't know that either. Well, actually, I do know one limit. His powers do not work on the gunslinger. But I could not tell you why. And the movie's certainly not going to tell you. And in the Dark Tower, there were apparently a bunch of different... I guess they're parallel universes. The one that we are in is called Keystone Earth. Why is it called that? Don't know. And the world the Man in Black and the Gunslinger come from is called Midworld. Middle of what? Dunno. And at the center of all of the worlds, however many there are, is the Dark Tower, which protects all of the worlds from the outside, which is where the monsters live. Where did the tower come from? Who built it? Does anyone live there now? Ask as many questions as you want. This shit will never be explained. And the man in black wants to destroy the tower, and he does so by trying to harness the psychic powers of children. How the fuck does that work? I have no idea. But the biggest question I have is, why does he want to destroy the tower? And the movie does kinda sorta try to explain this half-assedly, but it doesn't do a very good job. He apparently wants to destroy the tower because that will allow the monsters to invade all of the worlds, and this will apparently allow him to take over. So the question is, why does he need the monsters to invade in order to take over the universe? Because he's an all-powerful sorcerer with godlike abilities, and there doesn't really seem to be much anyone can do to stop him. His powers even work across worlds. He can fuck with someone on Keystone Earth without actually being on Keystone Earth. Why does he need the monsters? In fact, Midworld is post-apocalyptic because of him. They all tried to fight a massive war against the Man in Black, a war we never see, by the way, and he damn near wiped everyone out. I really don't understand why him destroying the Dark Tower is a prerequisite for taking over the universe. He seems perfectly capable of doing that on his own. And then there's Roland, the gunslinger. And he wants to kill the Man in Black, because apparently there were a bunch of gunslingers at one time, including his father, but the Man in Black killed them all. As you might expect, he holds a grudge and wants revenge, but damn near everyone he comes across tells him he should forget revenge, and instead work on protecting the Dark Tower. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the obvious question, why are these two mutually exclusive? The man in black is trying to destroy the Dark Tower, so killing him would thus protect the Dark Tower. What am I missing? And one more problem I have, and I know this is kinda nitpicky, but... The man in black's name is apparently... Walter. Walter, and from what I've read, that is actually his name in the book, but why is his name Walter? When I hear all-powerful sorcerer with godlike abilities who wants to take over the world, names that come to mind do not sound like Walter. Walter is a name for the cranky old man who lives down the street and tells all the neighborhood kids to stay off his lawn. Not an all-powerful sorcerer with godlike abilities who wants to take over the universe. It doesn't fit, is all I'm saying. And if anyone watching this video is named Walter, I'm not saying your name sucks. It probably works for you just fine, because you're not an all-powerful sorcerer with godlike abilities who wants to take over the universe. The Man in Black, however, is. And I guess that's why he wants to be called the Man in Black. Can't say I blame him. So, final thoughts. A lot of stuff needed to be explained better, or at all, and while there are some really strong performances and some pretty cool action sequences, they're all hampered by a very shaky story. And while I didn't think it was all that great, I didn't really hate it either. But had I read the books, 
it's entirely possible I'd be singing a different tune. As for whether you should see it, maybe when it hits Redbox, it's about as far as I'm gonna go. It's not really worth spending your money to see it in theaters. But I've seen worse movies make money hand over fist. Maybe that'll happen here. We'll see. And that's all I got to say about The Dark Tower. Till next time, take care.